My name is Ellen Zagura. I'm a faculty member in the School of Computer Science in the College of Computing. Um, I've been working for the last uh, year and a half on a project with the Carter Center that relates to mental health in Liberia. There are three different things that uh, we are doing um, in terms of supporting the Mental Health Liberia program. So one of them is uh, technology assessment and consulting. The uh, Carter Center, in part with our input, decided to purchase um, computers for each of the clinicians that they are training. By the end of the five-year program, that will number about 180 cl clinicians. So that's one piece has been technology consulting. Second piece has been um, developing software to be used in monitoring and evaluation. So a major requirement for a program like this is that they assess how well the program's working. Um, are the, is the training resulting in better mental health care to Liberians? So we've developed um, an online, a, a, a computer-based form that the clinicians use when they see a patient um, it allows them to collect patient demographics, diagnosis information, treatment information, but without keeping uh, confidential patient name uh, information. And then the Carter Center will be able to put together those records as they appear over time to figure out whether patient function is improving as a result of being seen by these clinicians. Um, the third piece has more of a research flavor to it, a little more longer ter long term in its, in its time horizon. Um, and that has to do with understanding how uh, newly trained clinicians might benefit from online community, an online community. Um, these clinicians, once they're trained, will be typically fairly isolated. They'll be working in clinics where they are the only ones or one of a small number of people with mental health training. So we are looking at the ways that online communities can provide support and education for newly trained clinicians that might help to uh, replicate what they might get if they were in a well-funded clinical setting with lots of peers and supervisors um, who all had a lot of experience in mental health. So the Computing for Good projects have at least two sort of primary goals. One is to um, have a real posit and positive impact on the communities that we partner with. That is the, the, the project, the, those who are actually uh, in a position to benefit from the project. So in this case, that would be the mental health clinicians themselves. Those are the, that's, that's, that's our partner in terms of those who are benefiting from the work that we're doing. Um, we want to make their jobs easier. We want to make it possible for them to do their jobs better. Um, second goal is to increase the capacity of students to work on problems in the general humanitarian domain. So um, there we want to increase students' awareness and understanding of, um, of problems in these domains and hopefully increase their interest in continuing to work on them after they leave Georgia Tech.